Alright guys, Rolex here and welcome back to another quick easy video tutorial sort of thing. Now this time I'm going to be going over how to widen your 808, how to you know get it fill in a bit more space in your headphones and your speakers, um, just so it's kind of more pronounced a bit more in your face. Um, you know, it, it kind of just fills more space, like we're wanting it to widen it, fatten it, just make it thicker as well. Um, so yeah, let's just get into it. Um, I'm just gonna grab an 808 here, just one that I've recently used. Turn it up a little bit and then just add it to the mixer. Gonna also make sure the loop points are not on. Now if loop points are on, um, just make sure they're off because what that does, it'll play, it'll loop it. So no matter what you've got in this, say you've um, only got it once, if you play it once it'll keep going doo -doo 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 and it'll overlap itself. So we're going to hit cut itself as well on the 808, so right click on where the 808 is, right click cut itself and that will stop it basically playing over um, itself. But yeah, let's just get into working with the 808. So we going to turn it up a bit and what we're going to do, the first thing we're going to do is add a stereo enhancer. Now. If you go to FL Studio, it should be here. It comes free with FL Studio, as far as I'm aware. And it's just this little thing here. So um, what it does is it will separate stereo image field, kind of, you know, the sound of it. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to drag it um, to about here. And we're going to exaggerate it to kind of show you guys what it does. We're going to pull it in here and then we're going to see which sounds better so if we do it right see it sounds a lot wider and a lot thicker so if we pull it even more in now that's what it's doing is it's kind of moving the sample from like side to side almost like you hear it in the left and then it moves over to the right so it kind of goes like vroom, but it's filling up all of the um, stereo space so that kind of goes vroom, like left to right so we can pull it in make it a little bit less um, in your face so it's still doing it there it's just less obvious and I think this if I'm correct does it from the right to the left ok no that's still ok so that's the phase inversion um, invert basically means flip it so if we do none um, honestly let's try none none sounds fine I don't want to over complicate it Now we can also pan the effect, I think. So this pans it to one ear. Now if we just want this to play, let's say, in one ear instead of going le left to right, we can pan it. So it basically only happens in the right ear. Now it's still enhancing it, but it's not doing you know, the side to side um, effect. And as a rule of thumb, I kind of like to have the 808 always in the center of the mix. Uh, you don't have to copy me with that, you know. Uh, but that's what I like to do. I like to have the kick and the 808 in the center of the mix. So just have it panned here. And have it stereo enhancing it left and right. Now play it without it. And with. That sounds so much better to me. Um, you might not be able to catch it if you're not wearing headphones, so um, I apologize for that. Um, and another thing you can do to kind of beefy, beefy, to beef up your 
uh, hey, wait, is that a sausage fattener or another kind of plug-in like this? It's kind of phased out, but um, we can turn the fatness up. I think this is a free plug-in, I'm not sure. So we're just going to turn it from zero and I'll let you hear what this sounds like. Was get it was getting to a point where it was kind of um, distorting so don't push it to a point where you hear it kind of like start to get muffled and distorted that's something you should always be wary of because you don't you'd look you're wanting a clean mix when you're mixing 808 and kicking everything and if it's distorting it's going to put in more frequencies that you don't want so you want a nice clean thick 808 And we can add some color as well. And then I'll play this without any effect. And then with these two effects, and again, we can if there's too much, if there's too much uh, high in frequency as well. Because I think the sauces fattener has like saturation, um, so that can sometimes add in some high frequencies. So what we can do is just pull this out. Now I did that by opening a parametric EQ and going here, right clicking, and then going to mas the mastering setting in 40 hertz and 18 hertz cut, and I'm just drag this across like this. Again, we can boost to the lower frequencies with this preset by just dragging in on the mouse wheel, pulling it up like this. Um, and that, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much all I would like to show you just now. I hope this kind of helps. Uh, it's a good way to kind of beef up your 808s, make them sound you know, the way you're wanting them to, and um, kind of like the professionals, so, you know, um, use that if you'd like, if it helped you, please leave a like, you know, subscribe, uh, there's two new tutorials every single week, and yeah, there's, there's obviously, well not obviously, but there will be something on this channel that will help you if you're a producer, and are wanting to improve, so, yeah, thank you very much for watching guys, take care, and I'll see you in the next one I do.